First, we verify if the installation aligns with the application report and ensure all components are correctly mounted. This includes comparing the heat sealing band to specifications. Check the secondary voltage at the transformer to ensure proper operation. Ensure the cable cross-section of the high current cable meets requirements for safe power transmission. Compare the transformer with the application report and the nameplate to ensure the correct transformer is used. Use the correct line filter to minimize electrical disturbances and route the cables from the line and the load side separately. Additionally, ensure that the cables are twisted to further reduce interference. The number of turns through the current transformer, the booster, and the recommended circuit fuse must also be verified depending on the application. For safety reasons, we recommend installing the KB contactor between the temperature controller and transformer. The voltage measurement wire should be twisted to reduce electromagnetic interference and be connected directly to the seal bar heads. Verify all cable lugs are properly attached and securely fastened to ensure reliable connections. Now, check the connectors at the controller and current transformer, as well as all terminals and connections throughout the control circuit. These should be regularly inspected especially on movable parts like seal bar heads. Inspect tools for contaminants or damage and ensure correct installation. Seal bar heads must be movable. Finally, the Ropex application can be put into operation. As we move forward, the next steps for commissioning include performing autocal and burning in the heating elements. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your designated contact person.